Hi everybody, I'm here today with Cuddles. She's one of our Angora rabbits. Um, you've probably seen her before because she was the one that went through false pregnancy. Well, this poor little bunny sometimes is having a, a little bit of a rough life this summer um, because I'm here to talk about fly larva and butt flies um, causing damage to your rabbits. Now, um, it, it says online that bot flies come because you have unclean conditions and your rabbits live in icky um, cages and so forth. However, these are beautiful angoras and as you can see with her fluffy wool is clean. She's not unkept. She's not in a, in, in a messy environment. She's got a cage where her um, pellets, her poop pellets can drop down in so she's not sitting in pellets. However, she did have a fly a larva, um, well, a fly egg that went into her skin and um, grew into a larva. And the way we found it is that we were doing a check on her, which we like to do very often, actually, um, weekly or several times a week, whenever we pull the rabbits out, actually. So if we're pulling them out every day, we're checking them every day for bumps or anything strange. So it's very important to make sure you're doing your health checks on your rabbits. Whether you show rabbits or you don't show rabbits, you still need to check them because just your everyday pet rabbit can get this. Um, so what happened was apparently a fly egg was on her and embedded into her skin and a larva was growing and we felt this big bump. Um, and it's important that, I shouldn't say big bump, it was like this big. Um, it's important that you don't just start squeezing it because you can squeeze the larva and if the larva does break open, it can release toxins into your rabbit, which can be deadly. So if you suspect this is happening, take your rabbit to the vet um, I mean, if it's at night, you can wait till morning, but bring your rabbit to the vet pretty quickly and have it removed. So once it's removed, I have my hand on it. Um, it's, you will notice there will be a dot, but see there's a little dot here. Now her wool, because she's very woolly, was trimmed away and we've been um, peroxiding and adding an antiseptic to it so that that heals up, so that her wound um, doesn't get infected and so forth. So you'll see this little hole. That is where the larva came out. And the larva, I did not record this because ick, but the larva was that long and it was a white larva. I've seen videos online where they're even bigger than that and I don't know how people aren't catching it unless they're not checking their rabbits. It is important to check your rabbits because we caught ours when they were small um, and not okay, so remember to do your health checks on your rabbits and what a health check is is you're checking over your, your rabbits entire body for anything that seems strange. So if you um, don't show rabbits, if your kids aren't in 4-H, these are my, my daughter's 4-H bunnies. Um, if you're not in that, you probably don't know what you're checking, but basically you're checking the ears. You are checking um, the face, the teeth, the mouth, the nose. Um, all of those areas, the eyes, it's for drippages. Now this doesn't have anything to do with the, the flies, um, but you wanna check those. And then you wanna check, I'm just feeling around for anything that feels like a strange bump. And because these are angoras, we have to check a little bit more closely because there's a lot of fur here. In fact, you know, she's getting in some of her winter wool and she's getting very fluffy. So we are checking for any kind of bumps. So as we're checking, we're checking the top, we're checking it underneath the arms, under the neck, flipping your bunny over, checking the belly for any um, strained bumps or, or so forth, um, and checking all areas because if you see something strange, um, you wanna have it checked out because you don't want to have your bunny hurt. So um, that is exactly how we found this larva in her. When um, we took her out, we we're just kind of feeling around, just seeing what's going on, and oh, this is, this is a strange bump and looked at it. And instantly when I looked at it, there was a, um, like the little hole where you could see, because they do have a little breathing hole, they burrow under the skin. So um, they're in there growing and, and doing their nasty stuff inside your bunny, which is not good for your bunny. And um, we felt it right away. So she did not have it very long, thank goodness, and we were able to get it extracted. Just remember, don't do this by yourself. If you, especially if you don't know what you're doing, you can actually um, hurt your rabbit by doing that. So make sure that you consult a veterinarian and then make sure you keep that wound clean until it heals up. Don't just apply um, some wound stuff and let it go. You need to check it. I was checking her twice a day, morning and evening, and applying um, hydrogen peroxide 
and some antiseptic to it to keep it clean and healed. So it healed up nicely. You can see it's healing and um, she's doing great. She didn't stop eating. She didn't get sick. She is doing great. So um, especially if you notice that you have a lot of flies in the area, make sure you're checking your rabbits regularly because whether you have clean rabbits or unclean rabbits, it is possible to get it. Like I said, we have clean bedding areas uh, for our rabbits and she still got one. Thank goodness she did not have her entire body covered in them, um, but we did catch it and she is doing wonderful. So this is Cuddles. She's doing great. We don't have false pregnancy problems, but if you have questions on false pregnancies, check out that video. Um, we just had a little fly problem now, but she's doing wonderful and um, she still loves us. So that's it for now from our Angora Bunny World.